Example 3 is sort of a combination of examples 1 and 2. In this question, we have a company that makes batteries, and we know that the batteries have an average lifespan that is normally distributed. They have a mean of 46 months and a standard deviation of 8 months. So in Part A, it asks if the company guarantees a full refund on any battery that fails within 36 months, what percentage of their batteries will they need to replace under this guarantee? If the batteries are normally distributed with a mean of 46, then a lifespan of only 36 months would be on the left side of my distribution. And the batteries that the company would need to replace would be the batteries that last less than 36 months. So those batteries would be represented in this shaded region right here to the left of x equals 36. So essentially this problem breaks down into finding the probability that a battery is going to last less than 36 months. Again, since it's normally distributed, I can change this x interval into an interval of z values that I can find the probability of. So converting the value of 36 months into a z value, I get a z value of negative 1.25. Essentially, a battery that would last 36 months would be one that is 1.25 standard deviation below the mean. So the question now becomes, in any normal distribution, what is the chance that a value will be 1.25 standard deviations below the mean or lower? Well, this is a value I can look up on my normal table. My table lists areas to the left of z values, and that's what I'm looking for in this question. So going to my normal table, going to the negative z page, I'm going to look up negative 1.2 in the left column, and I'm going to look up a hundredth digit of 5.05. .05. Matching up that row and column gives me a probability of 0 0.1056. Having a probability that a random battery will last for less than 36 months of 0 0.1056 is equivalent to the reasoning that 10.56% of the batteries are going to last less than 36 months. In part B to my question, it asks if the company doesn't want to replace 10% of their batteries and instead they only want to replace 2.5% of the batteries then how long should the guarantee be for? We can see that 36 months is too long of a guarantee, having to replace over 10% of their batteries. So the company is interested in what should this guarantee be for in order so that I only replace 2.5% of the batteries. So I'm looking for a value where only 2.5% of the batteries will last less than this number of months. This is an unknown value. But on the normal curve, 2.5% is equivalent to an area of 0 0.025. So what I'm going to do is on the norm standard normal curve, I'm going to look up a z value that has an area of 0 0.025 to the left of it. I'm going to use the normal table similar to how I did in example number two. And then I'm going to look up an area first and then find what the equivalent z value is. Since this is an area to the left, I'm going to look up this number directly on my table. I know it's going to be on the side with a negative z value. So turning to that page, I'm not looking up z is negative. 0 0.025, I'm looking up an area of 0 0.025. And searching through the table, I can find that area right here. Now what z value is associated with this area of 0 
Well, what's the z value? Negative 1.9. 6. An area to the left of 0 0.025 is equivalent to a z value of negative 1.96. Taking that information back to our problem, I'm going to convert that z value. Essentially, what this is saying is that to be in the bottom 2.5% of a normal distribution, you have to be 1.96 standard deviations below the mean or lower. So as far as our population is concerned, what battery, how many months, would be a battery that lasts 1.96 standard deviations below the mean? Since the standard deviation is 8 months, I multiply that by negative 1.96 and then add it to 46 it turns into a subtraction since I have a negative z value and I get an x value of 30.32 if the company guaranteed their batteries for 30.32 months they would only replace 2.5 percent of them they would probably round that off to 30 months just to squeeze a little extra out of it